Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is JT from Above and Blow the Belt. Uh, I want to talk about the fight last night. Terrence Crawford versus Jose Vidavidez, which was a, a which was a good fight. I knew it was going to be a, a, a good fight. Um, well, you know one thing is, um, what do you, what is your opinions on the fight? My opinion is on the, my opinion my opinion is on the fight is um, well, you know one thing is um, everybody talking about um, uh, some people saying that Terrence Crawford should have taken him out in the fifth or sixth round probably um, because of uh, Jose Vidavidez wasn't a hundred percent he was uh, his leg he had a leg uh, the leg issue the, the leg that he got shot in he was kind of dragging it um, and um, I'm well and then on top of that he had a stamina issue too because he was uh, running out of breath he was out of breath like I think the um, middle rounds I'm thinking Cause he's kind of slow. He was kind of slowing down, but I'm thinking, but that was because of um, Chance Crawford um, body shots. And um, but you know, one thing is, I'm thinking everybody. You know, one thing is, people is always saying that uh, is thinking it's not so much about Vita Vita. It's about Errol Spence Jr. And I, I agree with that because uh, Jose Vita Vita is a welterweight, and um, I think. Jose was uh was taller than him and I don't think his reach is longer than uh I think his reach is longer than um Chance Crawford. If it ain't it's this, it's about this it's about this uh, it's about the same. But the early rounds I would say I give it to I say the first two rounds was I say Vita Vidas, you know, because I think Chance Crawford trying to uh, figure him out. And um I think um Terrence Crocker figured him out. I think maybe the the third. I say the fourth round. I would say he's trying. He was loose. He, he was loose. He loose. He loosed up. So at the same time, um, you know, one thing about Terrence Crocker, he kind of like everybody say he's a slow starter. I agree with that, but um, he's just trying to figure you out at the same time. He didn't want to go out there and 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 make a mistake and get caught with something early. And um. You know, one thing is, uh, some people, you know, one thing is when I looked at the fight, I think uh, B.D. Videos was a harder puncher. Even uh, uh, Terrence Crawford punches didn't hurt him that much in the beginning. Of course, it, in the late rounds, of course, it's going to catch up with you, of course. Um, you know, one thing is this fight, you know, uh, basically what I'm saying when I got off, what I got, what I got out of this fight is, um, you know, one thing is, Terrence Crawford is a smart fighter. Some people said, um, you know, I was looking at certain uh, different channels. They was talking about um, he's a uh, puncher. He's a um, he's a boxer puncher. Errol Spence is a puncher boxer or something like that. And uh, you know, one thing is, I think I think that um, Terrence Crawford is, of course, he's both, but um, but. It's hard to kind of judge him, man. Put him in it. Is he? Is, is he a? He's not a. He's not a. He's not a poor boxer. He's a small boxer, of course. He's not a. He's not someone like a slick fighter. I would say he like to stays in the pocket too. He moves around. He moves around. He moves around good. He's a guy. He got great movement. Not like Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather's constantly moving his legs at the same time. They got different styles. I would say. Um. And um, you know, Terrence Crawford is you know, if this is Errol Spence Jr., is he ready? I would say, man, I would say he got to have. I got to see another fight because you know he fighting. Because you know one thing is if, if Jose Vidavi does then if his leg, if his leg wasn't messed up, if he didn't get shot in his leg, and he was a hundred percent, this fight would have been different. I'm not saying the outcome would have been um, probably would have been different. But I'm just saying it would have probably went to the judges, probably. Probably, you know, what I'm saying maybe maybe it would have been the same. I don't know because Jose Vidavidia is like he got a stamina problem. You know, what I'm saying he's, you know, maybe that maybe it had something to do with him chasing chasing out the car for two at the same time. He was trying to he was trying, in the beginning he was trying to counter uh uh. Terrence Crawford, he was trying to lure him in to try to catch him with something, but Terrence Crawford was falling for it. But the reason, another thing is, 
Chance Crawford is a smart fighter, like I said, because he caught him with that uh, uppercut. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he got him. And he 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 was he was waiting he was waiting to uh, do that in the big, like in the middle of rounds. But he he said he said uh, Benavidez was um, was moving away from it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't the right time. So he 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 know when to do it. He know he 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 know when he try to get counter. He you know and uh, and he and Terrence Crawford set him up. So. Terrence Crawford, um, good movement. Um, he got caught with some punches too at the side time. I've been saying that. And I don't know, man. I, I just think Errol Spence, man. I don't know. This, cause, you know what? It kind of takes the light out. Because since Vita Vita's his leg was 100%, he was fighting a uh, fighter was not 100%. You know, but that, that doesn't... It takes a little shine away from Terrence Crawford achievement too at the side time. I will say that. But I got to give him all the credit. He's still the pound for pound uh, number one, maybe number two in the world right now. But um, uh, everybody was waiting for him to call out Errol Spence Jr. But, you know, uh, I knew he wasn't going to call out Errol Spence Jr. I kind of knew he was going to call him out because Errol Spence Jr. Haven't, haven't called him out yet. So, they, 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 they both, I don't think both of them are scared of each other. I just think that they, they want to wait this fight out until they get the other, until they get, I think Chase Crawford won one more belt, and then Errol Spence get one more belt. Then they can come together and make this fight happen. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Because I think, I think that Errol Spence might he's trying to Errol Spence trying to get get uh, Sean Porter, and maybe Chance Chance Crawford try to get Keith Thurman, and they can make this stuff happen. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that might happen. Hopefully that happen. I don't. I, don't, I really don't want them to uh, fight each other right now. That's just my that's just my point of view. But that is my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I don't want them to fight right now. I think that uh, they should wait. But if they do fight right now, yeah, they fight. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I remember certain channels, whatever I've been looking at, said they he should go after the uh, Errol Smith Jr. should go, go after the strap, the WBO strap uh, title. I said, well, go ahead. I mean, it don't matter to me. But I just want them to wait to the best fight each other and, and, and to because I think everybody else is trying to wait for them to fight each other then they can capitalize on it but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day um I give uh, this fight a, a I give this fight a B plus um um everybody some people saying it was going to be a knockout which was a knockout to 12 round I think it was like how many, I don't know I forget how many minutes it was it was about 20 minutes 15 minutes left until he knocked him knocked him uh, knocked him out whatever and um you know one thing is um it told me a little bit about Terrence Crawford he's smart he know how to throw his he know when to throw the punches he know when to uh do throw combinations and don't uh and know how to counter and he know how to um uh, you know so he know how to uh his ring IQ is really good he's um but like Mayweather, the movement, his movement, he takes a lot of punches. That's the thing about it is, <clears throat> can he be Errol Spence right now, man? I don't know. I think he takes too many too many punches. See, one thing is he can't adjust to um, Errol Spence's uh, fighting style. You know what I'm saying? But is that enough to uh, win a fight? Errol Spence, do I? See? Let me tell you something. I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. If he fight Errol Spence. I don't think he. I don't think he could be able to knock out Earl Spence. He could win on points. I've been said that. This ain't nothing new. Um, everybody should know that. He. I don't think he could be able to knock out Earl Spence Jr. <sighs> knock him down. I don't know. But knock him out. I don't think that's not gonna. I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because this dude right here with one leg, he got him out in the twelfth. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe he was too cautious. Terrence Crawford. That probably was the. That's probably was the. That probably was the reason. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, maybe if he would have got him out in the fifth or sixth round, maybe, maybe, you know, so you, we probably, I might be saying something else right now. Um, you know, but, um, I don't know. I wonder who's, who's, who's his next opponent going to be. Um, you know, is it still going to be on the top rank, uh, umbrella or is it going to be somebody else from the BBC boxing, uh, 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 company, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm, I, I still got some. I still got some question marks about Terrence Crawford to a certain point of fighting um, Errol Spence Jr. He's gonna have to adjust, of course. Um, you know, because um, this fight really um, it was a good fight, but at the same time, what do y'all think? Do y'all think he's ready for Errol Spence Jr. 
Do you think he need one more fight, two more fights? And it's got to be somewhat a, B, a B-level fighter instead of, well, uh, Jose Villavidez is not a B-level. He's not, he's not, he, he was not 100%. So, like I said, it takes a light out. He said some of his leg was kind of uh, hurting him and stuff like that, which I knew he was going to say. And, um, you know, and um, what do y'all think about this, guys? Um, leave, a, leave a comment at the bottom of my page. Subscribe to my page. Like my page. Hit the bell icon for new notification, new videos from me. This is JT from Above and Below the Belt. All right, bye.